it's also a lot of pressure. You hear people talk a lot of rubbish and, you know, it's nice that when you deliver, um, you can give them a little bit back, you know. Uh, it's, it's very difficult in press conferences and interviews and things like that to... Um, to talk as openly as, as footballers want to because they're always judged and um, for me football and being on the pitch scoring goals celebrating is my release and you know it's maybe a message to a few people but uh, it was a very happy moment and full of adrenaline. Um, is that the best goal of your career? Uh, probably yeah it's got to be in it's got to be up there anyway um, there's a few nice ones you know ones that mean a lot to me personally like my first goal for <laughs> Birmingham, um, Dortmund, Madrid, they're always special ones. But, um, yeah, I think it's one that's that's right up there. You know, it's so important in terms of today and the mood change if it doesn't happen. So I think that, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely up there. <clears throat> Does a, a comeback like that and the feeling you get from it, can that really be a moment that sort of kick-starts the rest of the tournament for you now? Yeah, definitely. I think... Um, Besides their goal, I thought we were pretty good, to be honest. We had a lot of control. We got into really good areas. We were dangerous. I think we we still had uh, one or two moments where we could be a little bit more clinical. But in general, I thought it was a good performance from us. Um, and obviously, the main thing that we done was showed character. Uh, and that's something that, you know, I think in the qualifying games, it's difficult to replicate because the, um, the opposition sometimes are of a different level and they come to Wembley with a different style, for example. And, uh, and also there's a lot of chances to redeem it if you don't get a great result. But I think in knockout football, when you can produce a moment like that and everyone kind of looks around at each other and realises, well, that's the spirit we actually have got in that team. Um, it, it can help a lot. But also you don't um, experience things like that if you don't have the adversity of the two draws, if you don't have the adversity of going 1-0 down. So... Yeah, it's brilliant because it shows a reaction. Jude, you mentioned about the rubbish for a couple of times there. Just wondering what you meant by that and whether it's annoyed you or what what exactly has annoyed you? I think you know what I mean by the rubbish. You know, I think, like I said, playing for England, it's it, it should be one of the, uh, the most proud things of a footballer's career. But uh, often at times it is quite difficult. You know, there's a really high intense uh, pressure. You know the. The fans expect a lot from us, um, regardless of kind of what happened in recent tournaments um, years and years ago. Um, so people talk a lot and, you know, I think you, you do have to take it personally a little bit. You know, we work so hard at this game. We, we, we come in and we train every day so hard to try and put on performances for the fans. And sometimes it doesn't go well and sometimes feels like there's a, there's a bit of a pile on. And uh, yeah, it's not nice to hear, but you can always use it. And for moments like that, it's, um, it's nice to kind of throw it back to some people, I suppose. You said it was probably the best goal of your career, but in terms of moments that you've had spontaneous moments where does it where does it rank um it's, it's got to be up there again you know i think it's 30 20 seconds until we're out of the european championship and like i said the the, the mood in comparison to now uh, that it would have been is is a massive difference you know and what it can do for the team going forward so I think it's hard to deny that it was one of the most important um, kind of moments of my career so far. And yeah, um, we'll see though. It's still a long tournament, and it's only really um, very important if we go on to win the cup. So uh, yeah, we'll decide in the next two weeks how important it is.